Greetings, my American and global friends. Mr. Sports Travel on the road for Operation First Response.org. Before I tell you where I am, thanks to all those that have donated on the 50 States Tour plus the District of Columbia. Living the dream, seeing sports in all the states, including DC, Alaska, coming for you in September, October of this year, 2022, as Mr. Sports Travel turns the big 5-0. Actually, it's already happened, ladies and gentlemen. But why can't not stop with your birthday one day? Make the birthday be the whole year. So it's been the whole year for me. So the big question, of course, with all of these videos, where is Mr. Sports Travel now? Mr. Sports Travel, you've done videos in each of the 49 states, except for Alaska, except for Nevada. I'll be going back to Nevada at the end of this year. And so, you've done the District of Columbia. Where can Mr. Sports Travel be? And the answer, please. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Canada. Neither my home nor native land. Mr. Sports Travel, the bonus edition. I'm in British Columbia, but where in beautiful British Columbia am I? I am at historic Royal Athletic Pack. All those New Englanders up there, it's the ball pack in Victoria, British Columbia, on the island of Vancouver. Vancouver Island, not the city of Vancouver, home of the Canucks and another great historic ball pack, Nat Bailey Stadium, home of the minor league Vancouver Canadians. No, I'm on the island of Vancouver in the city of Victoria at Royal Athletic Pack. And when it comes to collegiate summer wood bat baseball leagues, you've heard of the Cape Cod League, of course you have up there in New England, the Cape Cod League out in Falmouth and Yannis heard of the Cape Cod League. A lot of great players have played in the Cape Cod League, which is the best uh, wood bat league in North America. And then you've got great teams in Alaska, the Alaska League, the Northwoods League. Well, this is the entrant in the West Coast League, which is comprised of teams primarily in British Columbia, see Washington State, and Oregon. There's actually a team also in Alberta. In fact, Edmonton, suburb of Edmonton, Spruce Grove is building a new ball pack for a college wood bat league, which would be this West Coast League. But one of the most historic franchises in this league is the Victoria Harbor Cats. And you are looking live, not live on tape, I just like saying live, at Royal Athletic Pack here in the city of Victoria. And with each of these videos, I tell you about my favorite visit to the state. I'm going to change that up. I'm going to say my favorite visit to the province, as well as the country of Canada. My most recent visit and my favorite visit. As I celebrate each of the 50 states plus the District of Columbia. And hey, why not Canada? So yes, on this trip, seeing a sporting event in 49 of the 50 states, plus D.C., Alaska, this one will be the 50th. I was in Nevada earlier this year. I'll go back and shoot a video in Nevada. Uh, but I wanted to come to Canada. And I saw some baseball on this trip. I was in Kelowna, Camp Loops. Saw the CFL, Vancouver, BC Lions kick the snot out of Edmonton the other night. Most recent sporting event was here yesterday. I saw the Victoria Hobbitcats beat Kelowna Falcons. And they beat them quite handily. 6-1 to one was the final. It was a Sunday day game. Now, ladies and gentlemen. It is June the 13th as I shoot this video, 2022. And you may hear a car running. This car running here is a homeless shelter, which is behind me. And he has the ballpark. Okay? So this is a very historic ballpark in a neighborhood. You've got housing over here. They actually rebuilt this ballpark in 1967. There's a dedication on this side of the street. So I'm shooting it right here. It's very early in the morning. It's about 5.30 in the morning. You might be hearing a lot of wind. At this ballpark, Nick Pavetta, the Phillies, played here in the College Woodbat League, the Harbor Cats. This team draws extremely well. They had a Saturday night game here recently. 3,600 fans. You kind of see the light standards. You can see the main entrance right here. 
and this is a hive of activity. When I was here yesterday for a game, this game, this place was packed. Seating down the sides here, seating down the sides here. You have an old facade right here in the front. Again, 67 is when this reopened. It's also used for soccer. So if you're ever in the summertime visiting Canada and you want to see some baseball, yes, you want to go to Nap Haley Stadium, but you really want to come here to Royal Athletic Park. And of course, the city of Victoria, beautiful city on Vancouver Island. Now, there's another team in Nanaimo I saw earlier on this trip. Forgot about that. I saw them as well on this trip. So saw five different sporting events here in the great province of British Columbia. Now, let me talk about my first visit to the country and the province and then uh, my most favorite visit. And we will wrap up the Canada bonus video. And by the way, don't forget to watch the bonus waterfall video. Oh, that was a real charmer. That's also on here of Canada. Now, first visit to the country of Canada for sports, Toronto Blue Jays, 1998. Uh, Roger Clemens threw, I believe, a complete game in that game. I want to say it was August 8th, 1998 against the A's at Sky Dome. That was my first sporting event in the country of Canada. Now, I actually came to Canada when I was 15 years old and was in a hockey camp in Montreal in Verdun at the Huron Hockey School. And Ron Mason was running that camp. And my line mates were Michel, which is Michael in French in Canada, and Serge. I think Serge is just Serge in French or Canada. So I was at a hockey camp. That was my first visit to Canada. But I didn't see a sporting event. It was the summertime. I don't think the Expos were home then. So that was my first visit. Now, my favorite visit to Canada has to be probably my first ever Montreal Canadiens game, 2007. I never saw a game at the Forum in Montreal, which I would have loved to have seen. I never saw a game at the Forum. But my first game ever at the Canadiens' home, 2007, was something special. I remember sitting there above center ice, my good friend Stefan had a ticket for me. We sat together. It's against the Florida Panthers. And before they dropped the first puck, before the players come on the ice, they had a collage of all the great Canadians. They turn out the lights, all these great Canadians, Henry Richard, Guy Lefleur, you know, all the great Canadians, a collage, kind of like a pyrotechnical thing, right before the game on the ice, the face of Henry Richard comes up, the face of Guy Lefleur comes up, and Jock Plot, all these great Canadians players. Because when you think about country in Canada, you obviously think about hockey. And when you think about hockey in Canada, you think about the Montreal Canadiens. Now, I've kind of joked the Canadians have been suffering the Bell curse because ever since they moved to the Bell Center, Bell Center is a telephone company here in Canada. They haven't won anything. So the Canadians are going through a period kind of like the Yankees went through in the in the 1980s. They didn't win anything. You know, Steinbrenner was a crazy wackadoodle. They had Dave Winfield and they didn't do anything. Poor Don Mattingly. Never won a damn thing. That's what the Canadians have been doing. I think they've been cursed by the Bell curse because when they were at the Forum, oh, the Canadians were like, rock stars. They won the Stanley Cup many, many times. If you're not a hockey fan, you Google Montreal Canadiens. So, favorite sporting event in the country of Canada, definitely the Montreal Canadiens. Provincial here in British Columbia, I've been to see the Canucks, saw the BC Lions, I've seen the minor league hockey team or the West Coast Hockey League team at the old Pacific Coliseum. They now play in Langley. I would say probably my favorite sporting event is Nat Bailey Stadium in here, here in Victoria, because I love baseball, as you know, it's my favorite sport. And this was a great atmosphere yesterday. And it's obviously a great town, Victoria. And then on top of that, Nat Bailey Stadium, if you've never been there in Vancouver, Queen Elizabeth Park in Vancouver there, beautiful, beautiful setting. So, gave you my most recent visit, gave you my favorite visit, and gave you uh, my first visit to the great country of Canada, home of the Maple Leaf. Uh, beautiful, been to Toronto, seen all the NHL here. I'm only too short on the CFL, gonna go to Edmonton and Calgary either later this fall or I'm gonna go next summer. I've been to all the other Canadian football venues, seen a lot of Ontario Hockey League action, Quebec Major Junior Hockey League action, so I've seen the Raptors, I've seen the Expos when they were still there. I actually saw an exhibition game with the Expos and Vlad G hit it out. That was in 2018 against the Cardinals. I want to say it was March 26, 27, 2018 at Olympic Stadium. So 
the everywhere man, Mr. Sports Travel. Of course, he's seen everything that there is to see in the great country of Canada. This has been the Canada video, bonus edition. Be sure to watch the waterfall video of Canada. Nothing to do with sports, but these are my videos, but I think you'll like the waterfall video. And it's some kind of wonderful waterfall in British Columbia. So you'll learn something new, as you did in this video, about Victoria. Did you know Nick Pavetta from the Phillies played here, College Wood Bat League, at the Victoria Harbor Cats Royal Athletic Park. Windy day here in Victoria. Windy's been the theme of the batshit crazy trip, certified by Jesus. Of course, I'm joking, folks. I love Jesus, and I love you. Thank you for donating to OperationFirstResponse.org. Please watch my other videos. You can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram, Facebook as well. It's MRSportsTravel.com on Instagram and the Twitter. On Facebook, M-I-S-T-E-R, SportsTravel.com. Until you meet again with Mr. Sports Travel in one of these videos, my website, MrSportsTravel.com, signing off from Oh Canada. Neither my home nor native land, but had a great time here. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.